before the breakup, let let us have the revolution first, so that those people who put us in this condition will not have the joy of going anywhere for comfort. Human rights activist Omoyele Shiwore has called on those calling or agitating for the breakup of the country to have a rethink and allow the revolution to take place. Which revolution is this Mr. Man talking about? He told the agitators not to be carried away by the illusion that their problem would be solved the moment they break up the country. He noted that many Nigerians joined the cause for breakup out of frustration and dis uh, disillusionment arising from the myriads of problems bedeviling the country. She already disclosed this on Friday in Abuja while speaking at the People's Alternative Political Party's Summit titled New Nigeria is Possible. The activists wondered how the proponents of secession would break up the hearts of those who destroyed the country and inflicted untold hardship on Nigerians. He, however, suggested that it was better to break up the hearts of the oppressor of the oppressive leaders rather than break up the country. Shore said before the breakup, let's have the revolution first so that those people who put us in this condition will not have the joy of going anywhere for comfort. How would you break up the hearts of the people who are destroying Nigeria who will now go back to their various new nation states? He maintained that the same mistake made by the British for not seeking the permission of the people will be made if such an agenda pushes through. He, however, cautioned various ethnic groups to be circumspect in their agitation for self-determination, adding that the only workable alternative was to allow a revolution to take place. He frowned on the culture of immortalizing past leaders who he described as architects of the nation's woes by naming public roads, schools, and buildings after them. He said he was saddened driving on the roads named after former leaders such as late Sani Abacha, Ibrahim Badamoshi Babangida, former President Olusegun Ngobasanjo, and others. Shore said as of today, these individuals have turned Nigeria into a superpower without power. They have made this country headquarters of the poorest people in the world. And of those, and of those people was recently awarded an appointment at the World Trade Organization. Okay. Uh, like this man is saying, Shawara is saying a different thing altogether that let there be revolution because he believes that uh, those people who have destroyed Nigeria, according to what he's saying, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to interpret from my own uh, understanding that those who have destroyed Nigeria, they will not go back to their various states or nations after everything is being divided and they will start from there again. And just like uh, Falano was saying that they want to bring the problem from the center to to their own domain. And that means at the end of the day, there will be no work done. So, and again, I see, I'm asking. Now, Shore, that is where we have the problem. Because the issue now is that you are calling for one Nigeria, that one Nigeria will be better. And you have been crying. How old were you when you started this struggle? And how old are you now? Then what can you say it has changed? You know, from your own perspective. And like you said, everybody is frustrated. Everybody is frustrated. Because people now believe that uh, even the way you are going to is not bringing anything. And many people are really supporting. How many people are supporting your call for one Nigeria? Then how many people are supporting the call for breakup or secession? How many people are supporting that? Everybody is frustrated. And the people who have brought this country to its knees, they are somewhere laughing. And I said, even when I was talking about uh, Femi uh, Falano's uh, position, I said everybody has genuine reason. If you say, oh, we should not go, you have genuine reason. Oh, we should stay back. Oh, we should go. You have genuine reason. Oh, restructuring, we have genuine reason. But the problem now is that on how to sit together to know the way forward. Even the area of Kakanfu has come out to say, if there's no restructuring, that definitely the imminent, uh, the breakup, definitely it will, it will come. And uh, the people from the south southeast say, if the presidency does not come to them, oh, now wahala, now begego happen, now begego shelle. So what, who is not deceiving? Things are not working well. And those who are saying that, uh, oh, talking about uh, rotation, rotation, they have to rotate uh, the presidency to this, they are still going to do the same thing. Good luck, Jonathan was there, and we know how 
All of those people were perching around him. Buhari has come to do his own. Everybody is shouting. So where do we start from? This one will bring solution. They will say, no, 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 that is not it. This one will, will, this one will talk about, uh, okay, this is the way forward. They say, forget it. It's not going to happen. So where do we stand? People talk about a uh, restructuring. They say it is not going to happen. People talk about a uh, good governance. They say, why is it that uh, you are always hammering on uh, all these things? Uh, it does not, a room is not built in a day. Oh, because of this, because of that, they will begin to say one or two things different from the reality. Shewara is he saying another thing. People are not even supporting him. The people who are supporting him are supporting him. But that one is even is, is even frustrated. It's, you know, it's, 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 it's frustrating. People are frustrated. The whole thing is frustrating. So guys, I don't know what you think about what uh, Shewara has said. He has made his own opinion on everybody is making their own opinion on then at the end of the day, where do we strike the balance? That is the issue. Some people will tell you that just go and join politics. Because no matter what uh, Shewara is going to be talking about, they don't want to listen. They will tell you that he's uh, speaking from the angle of uh, opposition. And without opposition, is there any government of the day that can really thrive? No. Those who are talking about uh, one Nigeria, they are not patriotic. Mbano, they are not. They are just there to do their own bidding. And once they get there, they will register their name down even after they must have left the office. They will continue to be paid pension. That is, they will register their name. Tilala, tilala, yo. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. That is what they have been uh, doing. So, it is really unfortunate where we have really found ourselves at this junction. Very, very unfortunate. Well, Alaji Pastor Ulu, that is what somebody is calling a. Uh, she were, uh, they, they believe uh, she were is a pastor. It's, a, it's an allergy. And it's only because of uh, the Yabalis that followed him to court the other day. So the whole thing is dicey. The whole thing is messy. The whole thing we don't even understand. We don't know. But with all of this uh, struggle, with all of this stress, with all of this wahala, believe you me, very few individuals are smiling to the bank. They are so happy. They love us. Everything is just, everything is, everything is in disarray. Everything is destroyed. They love it because is benefiting just few individuals. So guys, let us hear your own opinion, what you think concerning what uh, Shuwari has said, that the the breakup is not the solution. Maybe breakup can come later, but revolution, revolution is what he's talking about, and that is what he stands for. Let's know your thoughts, guys, and let's know your, what you think in the comments section.